Hi, welcome to the vlog. Uh, I'm going to avoid saying it was a busy week. I'm just saying that it was a great week and start to tell you about it. So on Monday, October 22nd, started the day with our first assistant principal meeting. Uh, we have three assistant principals and we had a fourth member join as a school leadership. And it was great to get these folks together and to learn from them and get to know them. And we're going to continue to do that monthly and see where it goes and, and talk about things like SEL and talk about our roles and do a regular problem of practice protocol is something that we talked about um, that seemed helpful where people can bring a problem in their practice that they're having and discuss it with a group through a structured process. Um, it was great. It was fantastic. Right after that, we rolled into our, our league meeting, which is our admin team meeting and continuing to, to hammer out budget process. It's going very well. Um, and I think we're almost through that process. We're getting there. We're getting there. We're writing in pen now, so that's that's pretty good. Um, that day I also met with Jeffrey Jared and we did our first ever episode of I Bet You Can't Do That on a Chromebook. Um, and it was fantastic. And we talk about photo editing, which is something everybody says they can't do on a Chromebook. So uh, check it out if you have time. Um, I, after that I met with Kathy Clements, the math coach at UES, and we prepared for the UES staff meeting during which we worked on proficiency scales, which was tremendously hard um, and difficult. And I think it had to be. I think it was important that it was difficult because it stressed the importance of that element. Um, we, it was interesting as we were working through it, you know, we tended to jump to report cards or we tended to jump to the ones, twos and threes versus what is a learning progression for the, the standard that we've chosen. So there were all sorts of great conversations that came from it. I wish we had more time. Um, we really had to crunch it in there and condense it, but we're going to return to it. Um, but I, f I feel good about that. I feel really good about it. It was an important step in our process of curriculum development to really go through the throes of creating a proficiency scale. And Kathy was great help. It was, it was fantastic. Teachers were awesome. Um, on Tuesday, Tuesday was a full send unicorn day for me. Um, everyone else went to Roland. And I heard it was fantastic, and our students did amazing, and our staff did amazing, and I went to the AOE and uh, did some things. And in the afternoon, I went to an AOE comprehensive assessment training and did some, did, we did some stuff. Um, yeah. Wednesday, I start off the morning with our ELL team. We have three ELL educators in our district, and uh, I learn from them every time. Um, it's, it's amazing. We're really setting up, we're going to setting up some support systems for our families and our students uh, through external folks, uh, interpretive services, things like that. We're, we're cleaning that up and also working on our web presence. We talked a little bit about the ELL website, how we can have resources for families. It was good. It's great. They're, they're a fantastic group. Um, that same day, I went to visit Eli Rosenberg at Main Street Middle School. He's doing a, a, a time of day where students are making interactive games using Scratch, Makey Makey's, things like that, and also using the UN um, Sustainable Development Goals in there. So I stopped by to see that, but we really got talking about another project and got excited and started geeking out about that. So I'm not going to tell you anything about that right now, but it was very cool. I appreciated the visit. That same day, Kiana Bromley was doing a breakout EDU digital edition in her CBL class at the high school. Um, and I had, I had not seen a, a digital version done in a while. So I wanted to see it, I wanted to support her, see how it goes, all that stuff. It was really interesting. One of the things that happens when you watch a breakout anytime is that you immediately start talking about group dynamics and student involvement. And there's kids that participate, kids that kind of stay on the fringes and how you involve them and all those things. So it's really more of a social experiment in uh, group dynamics sometimes. And so that was fascinating. Kiana did a great, great job, it was fantastic. After that, I went to visit Liz Swendell. She is the art teacher at the high school and we're gonna partner up on a project. Um, she has students that are doing visual representations of a story that they've made and we're going to smush that together with the art and the audio and see what we get for greatness. So I'm super excited about that. Really grateful for the opportunity. My dog drinks constantly. Reese. It's okay. 
Uh, let's see. After Liz met with Jen Williams, we're continuing to plan around our Library Lab podcast. We've been experimenting. We haven't been super, super serious about producing the episodes yet, but we're trying to figure out how to use Anchor FM to provide some flexibility for us in terms of interviewing people, collecting audio from other sources, things like that, because you know we have one spot during the week when we meet, and we know that the rest of the world isn't available during that time. So, but Anchor FM offers a lot of tools where people can leave audio so we can have them respond to questions, we can put it in a show, stuff like that. So we've been messing around with that. Uh, after that, I stuck around for a competition of horse, the basketball game, uh, with our superintendent and a student who challenged her to this uh, competition. So that was fantastic. Um, the superintendent Bone Steel won best out of three, but there was a real moment where we weren't sure so that was fantastic. Uh, Thursday I met with Sam, the music teacher over at UES, and uh, she has a great story. We've been working on the proficiency, uh, the prioritized standards work at UES and, and RVS, and really the arts, if you've ever gone to the national arts sites, sometimes the way that those are portrayed, those standards, is really difficult to figure out how you're going to grab those and craft them into something amazing. And um, she was she was having a hard time. Like we were having a hard time together trying to figure out where to go next. How do I organize this? What's a structure that works? I'm already doing this, but our report cards say that. All this stuff. And through the power of social media, she connected with some educators in the Midwest and got this whole slew of resources and ideas on how to do this. And it we so we were both geeking out. It was great. I'm very excited about it. Um, I'm happy for her. She feels empowered about it. It was it was great. I'm super excited. Um, then I spent time in Carrie Blodgett's second grade classroom at UBS. They wanted to make a video all about expected behaviors and the UES way. And so I was helping them with that. It was super fun. They were acting out skits. Everyone had a role. They had jobs. They had everything. It was great. Beautiful. We're going to finish that up next week, I think. And then I headed out to uh, Roxbury for their staff meeting where we were going to talk about um, the proficiency scales as well. We didn't get as much time, so we had to do kind of an abridged version, but the staff were very interested in that work. I'm going to go back and we're going to do it again. Um, definitely recognize how difficult that work is and how serious it is and how important it is as it's the base and structure for all of our future work. On Friday, Libby Bonesteel and myself were invited to a curriculum leadership academy where um, participants in the class uh, had some questions for us and when we just talked about our experience, it was it was amazing. These people were incredible. Um, the questions were very hard um, in a good way, like they generated good conversations. And so that was that was great. And anytime you meet with people, Vermont's such a great state for networking. Anytime you meet with people, you meet new people, you hear new ideas, you get make connections. It was great. Uh, that afternoon, returned back to Montpelier and met with Grant Geisler, our business manager, and he helped me out with a lot of things. We've been looking at our uh, title funded positions and the documentation that we're required to do you'd, you'd be amazed at how difficult that was for us to figure out but we've got that figured out that's gonna roll out this week um, we finished up my particular budget work uh, for the most part you know talked about uh, what we where things were gonna go all those things got that cleaned up and then Friday afternoon just before the end of the day I met with a student uh, we have some students that are working uh, either through their PLPs and their um, CBLs and flexible pathways, all that stuff, they're figuring out ways to uh, use that to really represent themselves for colleges. And so I had a student that is going to, wants to include a video about himself in his college application. And so we met and we just brainstormed around what that could look like and how to do it successfully and, and some tips and tricks and all that stuff, which which was amazing, but it's really amazing to start to think of how students are using these experiences to guide and propel them further. Uh, so so that was amazing. As you can see, it, it snowed today a lot. So, but that was my week. That's it. And uh, next week's going to be just as busy and just as awesome. So that's it. Thanks.